Welcome to Cogra for the 13th Westfield W League Grand Final as Sydney FC play host to the Melbourne victory in the second Big Blue decider in the history of this competition. And Teresa Polias on Grand Final Day again goes long and off the crossbar and over. A fair bit of wind down there, um, so I'm sure that'll play a factor. There's a look at some of the talent in the stands for Sydney FC. Smiles on their faces now, but Courtney Vine was such a weapon on the right wing for Sydney FC when she was fit. Yeah, she was. She was very sharp and classy. Obviously, out with a MCL. He's a dangerous... Kyra Cooney cross back off the crossbar. She scored a wonderful goal last time these teams met. It was a consolation goal in that Premier's plate decider, but she's that close to the opening goal in the grand final. Oh almost on the underside of the crossbar there, so probably the best moment of the game thus far. And some free advice in the pre-game show from Georgie Yeomandale and Michelle Heyman that uh, Kyra Cooney Cross uh, is a future Matilda, maybe should be already. Tony Gustafson, if you're watching from uh, in the Netherlands, this young lady will surely be a full senior international before too long. Here's Cooney Cross lifting it for Devanna. What a ball! And the woodwork again comes to Sydney FC's rescue. First Cooney cross and now Devanna. And what a ball it was from the number seven. Devanna had a lot of time to measure up this one and she's done pretty well. She's measured it pretty nicely. She had won and beaten, but just probably 10 centimetres too much on that one. Here comes Polly Doran. Game opening up, 78 minutes in. Does she use Cooney cross? First time delivery. Tobin having her pocket picked. Just when you thought she was done, she came again. And Wyman almost gifting it for Devanna, who saw an empty net and stumbled at the key moment. Ball came a bit too quickly for Devanna. It was a wonderful second ball in behind the defence there. Great win again by Pryor. An aerial duel that left Jackson down. Sydney FC forward through Alira Toby. Seems an outnumbered in the middle. Alira Toby! Just over the crossbar from the super sub. And it took a deflection that might have cost her. Toby's done everything right on that occasion. She's really drifted off the shoulder of Polly Doran, got herself in a great space and cut herself back onto her favoured foot here. And you thought she'd done enough, and I think it has taken a deflection, but Garten was pretty much done there, so what a moment for Sydney and Lyra Toby. Still Lisa Devanna. Support arrives from Jackson. Zimmerman stayed onside. Cooney Cross waits in the middle. Cooney Cross getting there! Kept out by Wyman! And Cooney Cross on the follow-up! It is wide! How did that stay out? Jada Wyman is pumped up, and rightly so. What a super save. How's the commitment from Wyman here? Probably the one of the first great balls in back post. Floats it in back post. Cooney Cross thinks she's done everything. Wyman absolutely fully commits, and what a moment for her. She's kept Sydney in this game. It's an iconic double save by Jada Wyman, who got stuck in the net, came back out and made the second save, I reckon, with her feet. Cooney Cross said, no, nah, I've got this one. Came across and delivers. And Jada Wyman dropped it, and the victory looks certain to poke it home, but Tash Pryor somehow it dropped for her, and she cleared her lines. A rare mistake from Wyman, and it goes unpunished. Jackson again. Space to turn into here for Annalie Longo! Oh, she had to reach for it. Wyman, what a save. She probably mis misread that one a little bit, but what an excellent save. And Longo finding herself in great, great spots facing forward. Closing down on Tobin helped create the turnover. Jackson has options. Goes for the killer ball to Devanna. Longo will pick up the second ball. And the strike is a beauty! And Jada Wyman says, not on my watch. I'm keeping a clean sheet tonight. Beautiful first touch from Longo here. And she hits it on the half volley and she hits it very sweetly. She thought she'd done enough. But again, that one arm comes up and saves the day for Sydney. And the substitute bench is used again. What a moment this is for young Taylor Ray. Came down from North Queensland to chase her football dream. 
missed the grand final here a couple of years ago as she recovered from an ACL injury. It remains the highlight of her career until now because she's playing in the grand final. The 19-year-old lost last year's decider against Melbourne City and she emerged victorious today after fighting back from two ACLs already. Trying to deal with Debat, a mistake at the back, Melita Rez! Couldn't turn it home as Jana Wyman made herself big. Bit of a defensive mistake and Melina Ayres. Geez, Wyman's done well to come out and make herself big, but oh my God, she will lose sleep over that one. Final seconds, Jana Wyman under her own crossbar. It's finally beaten. Kyra Cooney Cross with the X Factor has scored from a corner. 120 minutes in, the Melbourne victory are W League champions for just the second time. Some people see a different picture when they go on a football pitch, and Kyra Cooney Cross is one of those. The victory are champions in 2021. The Melbourne victory in their third grand final appearance will lift the silverware for the second time. Full time after extra time, it's the Melbourne victory one, Sydney FC nil. Thank you to all of you here, all of you watching at home for your continued support of the Westfield W League and congratulations to the Westfield W League 2021 champions, Melbourne victory! Yeah.